Okay, welcome back. Let's pick up our friend Where's Dildo here. My name's Josh. This is the uh, 20-something gamer video YouTube channel. This is part three of the Leisure Suit Larry 7 Love for the Sale walkthrough, playthrough, let's play, whatever you want to call it. Sweet scented white flowers, cultivated for its small orange yellow citrus fruit, which is commonly eaten fresh or in preserves, but rarely in quiche. And this I'm is the go first ahead and grab one that as it's seen that's useful in the, uh, the sheep baking competition. Quickly, repeat after me. Sheep shake, food sheep baking shake, competition, shake. whatever it is, later on in the game. One of the uh, tasks that's on our scorecard ah, that we have to complete. Snare a delicious kumquat from the tree. How you wish you had a taste icon so you could taste it. Hey, wait. With this new interface, you might. Yeah. The new interface that he's talking, that the narrator's talking this about there, is handsome this, sailor this game came out in the mid-90s, so, on the you know, the point-click adventure thing was still relatively new. Games what like this were... Doing? Oh, I'm the handsome sailor who entertains the many children on this cruise. But <laughs> I haven't seen a single child anywhere. Yeah, That's no because kids here. This game is too dirty for kids. Yeah. Your attention, please. Oh, Jeb gotta, uh, has just try to keep it down here. I uh, so I called in exactly sick to work what today because I woke up with a well, really bad I migraine, balloon animals. headache, Thanks. dizziness, sensitivity, like mm, the whole deal. Not when I was really. Walking my dog this I'll morning. He's guess. now sleeping on my here bed, so go. I gotta try to keep it down, not disturb him. Yeah, you know, he's got a busy day of rolling around, sleeping, and drinking water. And oh, look at that! Look, oh. it's Hooty the Owl. But that doesn't look like Hootie that. Hooty the Owl is well. It does looks to be to assaulting me. that yeah, sheep well, plant uh, right now. You, you can keep it, okay? Aww. I hate when that happens. And there's our friend Peggy. Probably one of the best characters in this game. Also, Exquisites or whatever, however you pronounce yeah, his name. Oh, let's grab our friend Where's Dildo again. We meet him later on in the game. He helps us out with some more of the nefarious tasks that we have to handle. Still asleep? Okay, good. My dog, his name is Barney. He's a pug. And he's actually diabetic. Which means he requires insulin shots twice a day, roughly 12 hours yeah, apart. Baby. And eats special food, and there's our friend. We're, man, we are just racking up the dildos. Hopefully that doesn't get taken in the wrong way. We are building up our collection of Where's Dildo. And... Barney, uh, as I was saying, diabetic pug. He's 11 years old. He just turned 11 about a month ago. He requires insulin shots, special food, and other than that, you know, the usual dog requisites is you gotta rub his belly. Kindly he likes that. Keep your hose and, you know, shelter and... Oh, sorry, he's starting to wake up. Gotta be quiet. Okay, it's all good now. This is the... Th Third part of the of the playthrough. Oops, sorry. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna say walkthrough because this pipe is clearly marked. I'm not really water. directing on how to play this. For what that's worth. At this point, I'm still trying to feel out my way of the game. As I've said before, I have played this game multiple times, but this playthrough is the, probably the first time in four or five, maybe six years, that I've played it, and it's it's definitely been a while. And not using any sort of walkthrough or, or guide or anything, and just trying to figure things out as I go. Now that toilet will have plenty of water. Yeah, so when watching these early parts of the videos of the playthrough, it's going to be Maybe the, uh, this, I remember this, this is the first part I remembered, you can type in your custom commands, things that aren't just necessarily given to you in the, in the dialogue. But PC gaming was never a big thing for me. The only games I really ever gravitated to were what are you you know, going adventure to games do? like this, point-click adventure leisure games, suit? such as Leisure Suit Larry, this one, Full Throttle, what? stuff Not like that. without wiping. Yeah. 
Yeah, so... Good idea. Get everything done at once. <laughs> Always good advice. Get everything done at once, then wipe. Oh! Oh, that is rough! Hmm. <laughs> So I've always been much more of a console gamer growing up as a kid. I had a Nintendo, Super Nintendo, on through to PlayStation and Nintendo 64, then over to Xbox, and Your now the current generation. Yeah, baby. So our friend wears dildo again. Solitaire championship. Yeah. Getting all the wears dildos. And at this point, I remember there's certain things that you got to do. I know there's the bean dip that we tried, and then we got to talk to uh, sculpture of Captain Butcher Thigh here as on a the mermaid side. is incredibly detailed, right down to her drippings. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Why not? Right? Mm, mm, so. Oh. Oh. Part of the it. reason that these videos have been so far apart, whereas part one was posted like two months ago, and I'm just starting to get into it, I recorded four parts mid, you know, Green early May, right after the Kickstarter thing that was going on, of got me back into the idea of playing Leisure Suit Larry again. Pumped for that, should be coming out, I guess, mm. later this year, early 2013, I haven't really been I following the, uh, the backer stuff, I'm just, you know, I contributed my money. Just I did get a T-shirt for this all game, you I can believe, eat. though. I think I Doesn't upped to mean the $40 you're obligated tier that got to make me a sick. Uh, so I have to why not? probably should look into that and see what's going on. I don't think anyone will even notice that wee little laddie. Recently, wow. just been crazy that at work. Is really effective. My gaming has been pretty much console stuff. I wrapped up Kingdoms of Ammo or Reckoning on 360 maybe a couple of weeks ago. Definitely liked it. You can really see the uh, the Elder Scrolls influences in there, which makes sense because yeah, the lead designer. Oh, another Where's Dildo? Not even paying attention. The lead designer, I think, on Oblivion and Morrowind was the lead designer on this game. So there's a lot of similarities. Combat system's obviously much better, being the third person kind of action what are you combat serving? combined with we got the awesome book. RPG rules. I really like the game, and it's a shame right, what happened okay. to that whole. The whole thing with the studio. Yeah, that sounds good. Jesus, Mary and Joseph in a tiny canoe. Are you deep? <laughs> it's Spork. I heard you the first time. I'll take one serving, please. You got it, boss. No complaint, Raider. Okie dokie. My God. What <laughs> is that? Like I've been trying to tell ya, it's Spork. Oh, the processed potted meat food product that tastes as fresh as home slaughtered. Just like mm. mine used to butcher. Very good, boss. Now you go. Hey, uh, what's with the accent? I did I. I knew I couldn't keep it up. I'm Chinese, you see. But me parents were Buddhist missionaries, so I grew up in Ireland. People stare when I speak normally like this. So I found it simpler just to sound like some bad Charlie Chan impersonator. Too much talk. More people need smoke. <laughs> you see? So what we're trying to do right here is we need this guy's light. Tasty. I think we might also pick up the knife. Mm, I honestly don't remember no? that. Dang way. Still, uh... In these early videos, still feeling out the process, still remembering, getting back into it. There's a lot of um, ways you can go about things. It's pretty open-ended. Now be sure not to exceed and the And then once you kind of get on track for one of the competitions, the for a reason, you know. I mean, if you stick with it, then it gets a little bit more linear once you're on track for winning one of the competitions. But oh no, not enough smoke. Must get more. All right, so now no we got touchy. him to leave, and I think we're gonna. This carving knife is extremely sharp. Since Wang's not looking, I we may as well knife. steal his knife. 
The heat lamp's turn-offs are bad hair day. <laughs> okay, yeah, and first you, 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 you might hear cool. the audio cut off like that. It's just me advancing it. It's don't need to hear all of that stuff, but... We just recently wrapped up Kingdom of Amalur Reckoning on 360, and I bought Crisis 2 a while back on, uh, on sale on 360 as well. Played it for a little bit and just couldn't get into the... Uh, into the story. The multiplayer, I think, is pretty sweet on there, but... I just couldn't get into it. I'm trying to wrap up the uh, single-player campaign of that. It's tough picking something up. Almost... I think it's, like, ten months later or something like that, based on the, uh, the timestamp on the achievements. Yeah, baby! There's a lot of stuff going on in here. I think we need to take this pot down here in the bottom left corner to do stuff later with, and also I think we have to, yeah, we need the caviar. The caviar. Master 2000 is for those who like their eggs things will start to come together fresh. as the, uh, as the game carries on, as things start getting more in line. Or something, Apparently, I these fish were on the wrong side in the seafood revolution. But lately, just been crazy with work. That My gaming's been console-based, which I don't, I don't have a, a PVR oh, the or anything. Things, the earring, um, the tattoo, the I'm thinking of getting one, but I, I kind of hey, want to, you know, there's so many the fish, video game the channels out there that have, That's good. you know, your standard 360 games like, you know, Call of Duty, Battlefield, stuff like that. I kind of want to take a little bit different of approach and have a more unique channel. Stuff like playthroughs of Leisure Suit Larry. You know, that's not no, stuff you see every day, especially easy. in 2012. And I know I've mentioned this previously, but I'm looking to... I think That's I'm definitely going to start playing Battlefield Considering with a controller out on PC unrefrigerated for those days. games, see how they go. Oh. I figure if I go positive in the kill-death ratio, I'm, I'm playing pretty well. Pass the salt. That's not funny. Okay. Ugh. Well, I think this video is starting to wrap up. We'll we'll start getting a little bit more focused, get the ball rolling as things go last on. Night swordfish dinner, this eh, is Larry? again. This is the third of the next video. Also, yeah, I'll be a little hazy on just because of the time difference. But then, from there on out, I'll probably be recording my comments live while I'm playing it. So it'll be. This page contains the recipe for At least I'll have a better idea of what's going on, what I'm doing at each time. But anyway, look always, out for the next no video. Should be coming up Venezuelan in the next couple of days, part four. And uh, if you've made it this Reddit long, thanks for sticking around. Please, please leave a comment. Constructive criticism hey, is always welcome as I start this thing off. Subiism. If you like what you hear, what? like, great. Subiism. If not, then you know, that's cool too. When you choose Take a word based on previous words, okay, like you use the cliche in a.